Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey, if anybody is new here and joining me today, thank you so much. My slogan is believable brown beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate. It just means that's the kind of makeup I do on this channel. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please keep watching. So today's video, I am donning this makeup mashup because um, I wanna have fun. So today I am going to use makeup in all the wrong places as much as I can on the whole face and still try and get a really pretty look at the end of it. I have no idea what it's gonna look like. I've picked some products that I think are kind of gonna work together, but I have no clue because I haven't tried it out. And yeah, I just think it's gonna be fun. So let's get cracking. Firstly, I'm just gonna use some Fix Plus to hydrate my skin. I mean, there's levels to this. I can't like use lip gloss as a primer and stuff like that, because that's not gonna work. And then for foundation, I am using the Cover FX Power Play again. And the colour I wear is G100. And I'm just going to use my finger first of all to put that on. I'm taking an expert face brush from Real Techniques and just buffing this into my skin. This foundation is so beautiful. It's basically like face and body on steroids. It still gives a really natural look to the skin, but you can get really decent coverage from it. Then I'm taking Danessa Myrick's Vision Cream Cover in W5 and W10, just to mix a bit of a color for my forehead. So you start off a little bit of this, and then a little bit of this, and just buff these together. Then I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand, and just covering up the eye bags, And this is an expert concealer brush and I'm just blending in the concealer. Then I'm taking a spoolie and just brushing up my brows. I've mixed together some um, Dip Down Fluid Line from MAC and my Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner in black. And I'm going to do my brows with gel liners today. And I'm just taking a little angled brush and just filling in my brow. And then do the same on this one. I want them to look quite um, fluffy. So you can see the strokes that I'm doing is kind of mimicking the way my hair grows. And then I'm just using my spoolie to soften so they don't look too painted on. This is gonna be fun. Now I'm moving on to my eyes. So I'm taking some of my Sephora Creamy Lip Stain in number eight that I use all the time as blusher. And I'm going to mix it with a tiny bit of Vision Cream Cover from Danessa. See what colour I can create. I'm taking a shading brush from Real Techniques and just mixing these two together. Oh, that's an interesting colour. So I'm going to take this brush and then just, ooh, work it onto my eyelid. Wow. I wasn't expecting that colour. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. I like and I need a smaller mirror always. I am taking a defining crease brush from Real Techniques and just blending through my socket. Wow, down, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, and do the same on this one. Okay. And um, let's blend this out too. Wow, that colour is so nice. Okay, I think I'm going to get a slightly bigger brush. So this is a 203 from Real Techniques as well. And I'm literally just going to go through the crease with this one. Just to make sure that the transition is really smooth up there. Because sometimes I have this naughty habit of only putting the colour on the real like lower part of my lid. And then you, probably, you guys probably don't even notice, but when I edit my videos and I look down, I'm like, no, we didn't blend it high enough. So I'm going to make sure I don't do that today. Wow. Oh, this is so much fun because I have no idea what's going to happen. Right. Now I've got this mini blusher from NARS. It's Orgasm, the famous one. And I am using a 239 from MAC and I'm just going to pat this 
on the lid. Oh, and it's got a tiny mirror in it, which is brilliant. I can see what I'm doing. I don't know if it's going to show on camera, but the gold flecks in the blush are really showing up on the eye. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Okay, do the other eye. And just get a blending brush. And blend through the crease. Okay. Now, I am taking... Do I want to do that first? Hmm. Yeah. I'm taking this colour here. This is the Pro Sculpting Palette from Makeup Forever and the colour that I'm using is um, Contour, which is the dark brown. I'm going to go back to the first brush that I used on the eyes, which was the shading brush. And just use this to create a little bit of definition on the outer corner. And then blend with the defining crease brush. So then I'm taking the W10 from Zanetta and I'm going to use a tiny bit of that in there too. I'm going to just carve out my eye a little bit here. Actually a bit painful to do because Amanda headbutted me here this week and was a little bit sore. Obviously it wasn't intentional but still my head hurts. I'm going to go back to the NARS Orgasm Blush and just pack that on in here again. Yeah, cool. Okay, so for cheeks, I am going to use... Hmm. Oh, I'm going to use this. This is the Phyto Lip Twist in number 17 from Sisley. Just put a tiny bit of that on. Then I'm using a 159 brush from MAC. I'm just softening this and blending it into my skin. Then I am going to take some of the number eight creamy lip stain from Sephora just to add a tiny bit of hot pink to the cheek. Yeah, just to brighten it up a little bit more. For my eyes, I think I want to tweak it a little bit. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of this lipstick from MAC. It's called Forever. It's just a purpley colour. Please let this door look nice. And I'm just going to... Yeah. <laughs> Press that on here. Just to change the colour of it a little bit. And you can still see the orgasm underneath it, but it just tones it down a little bit more. I wanted something not so peachy. I need a small mirror. You need a small you need a small mirror station. You cannot see that far. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. So for highlight on my cheeks, I am using Orgasm Lip Gloss from NARS. And I'm just gonna make sure my ring finger is clean because I've used it a lot today. And I'm just going to tap this on as a highlighter. Look at that. So pretty. And then use my ring finger just to blend the edges. I really like that purple colour. So I'm going to put <laughs> some of it on my face because <laughs> I want that in there too yeah I like how that looks and then for lips this was the real tricky one I was like what am I going to use on my lips I don't know how this is going to look I, have, I really have no clue but we're going to give it a go so I'm using Laying Low Paint Pot Famous last words from Mac. And I'm gonna put that on my lips. You know, as you do. It looks ashy as anything right now. <laughs> and grey. <laughs> oh goodness, right. Let's just see if I can salvage this. 
Then I'm gonna use Costa Riche Eye Pencil from MAC as well and try and make this lip look attractive because right now it is ugh. I think I put this pencil all over first. I should have done that first actually. Let's see if I can save it. Save the lip. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. I like that colour. Wow, this has just been a journey of discovery. Right, so I'm going to use some eyeshadow on top as well. I'm taking a 224 and the colour I'm using is Star Violet. Ooh! Yay! Wow, okay, this looks cool. It looks a bit odd because I don't have any... Um, mascara on yet but when that goes on <laughs> I purposely didn't do my brows like how I normally do them you know I always like conceal underneath I have like this real um what's the word I'm looking for obsession with like having perfect brows and it's a bit of like an in insecurity of mine I'm trying to not be held hostage by it so I'm going to try for as long as possible to leave them bushier and not so like done underneath right let's get some mascara on shall we I am going to use the normal ones that I use guys nothing new here today this is um, extended play I got the name right the first time round the colour I'm using is Giga Black which is the blacker of um, the extended play or the blackest extended play mascara that they do at MAC yeah, lashes just bring a look together, you know. And my lower lashes as well today. Then go over the top with my um, wrong one. Then go over the top with my In Extremes I mentioned 3D Black Lash. And my lower lashes as well today. I really want um, quite a lot of mascara. And then, because my eyes feel incomplete, I, where is it? Yeah, I'm taking my Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner. So this is what you would ordinarily use as a top liner. But I'm gonna use it in my waterline today. Got a 210 brush from MAC, and I'm gonna just use this as an eye pencil. And actually, I'm going to take some of this. <laughs> what number brush is this? I think it was a, yeah, 222 brush from MAC. And I'm going to go into this Hourglass Blusher. And it's called Euphoric Fusion. And I'm just going to use this as a little bit of a spotlight. I should have done this um, before my mascara, but you know what I'm like. Oh, let's use this mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, and just use it as a little spotlight on the centre of my eye. I'm picking the cream colour in the blush. And I think I'm going to just go over my inner corner highlight as well. Yeah, and add that to it. And because my lips feel a little bit matte I'm gonna use a tight this is the only cheat I'm actually gonna use lip gloss on my lips but I don't really want to change the color so I'm just using a clear lip gloss from MAC just looks like this take some on my ring finger oh, no my ring finger had something brown on it let's do that again shall we right let's get some lip gloss clean ring finger and just pat that on 
I've lost a little bit of the sheen from the um, eyeshadow, so I'm going to add that back. Now, there's no mirror here. Then I'm actually, this is the Times 9 palette. I think it's the burgundy one. Yeah, burgundy Times 9 palette from MAC. And I'm going to use a little bit of Embark and Sketch to um, use as a lip liner. So let's get a mirror again. I don't know where it cut off. I was so engrossed in the makeup that um, my camera stopped recording and I don't know where it stopped. So I'm going to just backtrack a little bit just in case you missed it. I just used um, the Burgundy Times 9 palette from MAC and I used the colour colours Embark and Sketch to use as a lip liner. And now I'm going to go in and just finesse everything. So I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going to mix it with a tiny bit of the Vision Cream cover in number W3. And this poor ring finger of mine is going to be worn out by the end of today. Let's just give that another little wipe. And I'm going to mix these two together just to brighten my concealer and go in for the kill. Kill the eye bag. Operation Kill the Eye Bag. Because the Vision Cream Cover, or is it Cover Cream? I always get the name the wrong way around. Vision Cream Cover has got a lot of coverage. So hopefully this will help with this uh, dark under eye situation. And just blend that through. Then I'm just taking a setting brush from Real Techniques and just blending the edge. Yeah, that looks good, I like that. Okay, let's do this side. Same thing, blend the edge away. I'm going to do a tiny bit of contour just because I can't help myself. I'm in a real makeup mood today, so I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit. You see, guys, this stuff, you don't need a lot. Yeah, that is enough. Then I'm taking my expert face brush. Is that what it's called? Yep. I'm just working in the contour here. You, don't, you never think like this tiny little bit of makeup is going to do that much, but a little bit goes a long way. Blend that in, and I'm going to use a tiny bit on my temples, just so it's balanced. And let's just shrink this forehead a little bit. <laughs> so I use the Face Expert brush, Expert Face brush. <laughs> Expert face brush just to work it into the hairline. Then I'm going to take my concealer brush, just clean off some of the lighter concealer and just work this into my temple here and here. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to go in and set everything. So I'm using my YSL Souffle de Claire powder in 04 and I'm taking a Real Technique setting brush. Oops. Oh, that is way too much. And I'm just going to set my under eyes. Then I'm taking my matte setting powder from Cover Effects, the colour I use is deep, with the same brush. And I'm just going to set the other parts of my face. It's a little bit on the end of my nose. So I don't get that whole like highlighted end of the nose. Like who wants their nose to look more round at the end? Or shiny. But just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too old. And um, just in the center of the brow, because that never looks good. Forehead, generally, it's not great shiny. Not when it's as big as mine. If you've got a small forehead and you want to make it look bigger, by all means shine away. But for me, I don't need that extra help. And just here too. And just make sure that I haven't disturbed the edge of this gloss too much with the powder. So 
so there you have it guys this makeup was so much fun to do because i had no idea how it was going to turn out i didn't really know what i was doing when i started i kind of just picked some colors that i thought would work together i had no idea how they would work out on my face but i really like how the makeup turned out today um I'd, i do like my more natural brow as well so i'm going to see if i can continue in this um direction and stop them from being so or stop feeling that they need to be so perfect because I think they still look nice and they're not as neat as they usually are. Um, the lip thing was a real like, whoa, I wasn't expecting this from those products, but I really like how the lip turned out. So you're thinking, well, why did you do this, Stace? Like, what was the whole point? I did this because sometimes we have, like, we all have makeup products that we've bought and we just think, oh, that doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to, or I don't like it as much as I do anymore. But I just wanted to show that if you can be a bit creative and think outside the box, you can use like makeup in a completely different way than it was intended. I will put this disclaimer though, if you have got really sensitive skin or sensitive eyes, maybe you should do like little patch tests or think about redistributing um, these products on your face. Because generally, if it's tested for the eyes, it's not tested for the mouth and vice versa. I have always been quite rebellious with makeup and just use whatever I want, wherever I want, on myself anyway. When I'm working, I'm a bit more cautious, but on me, I just use whatever I want and um, it works. So yeah, I think my next video is probably going to be a bit more practical, so maybe easier for you guys to follow. But I just wanted to show that you can use makeup wherever you like and still make really pretty makeup at the end of it. This was really fun, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, yes. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my Instagram channel page, Instagram page. I'll leave my handle for you here. I do live makeups on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT. So if you want to see how I do makeup in real time, you can follow me there. Um, oh, yes. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and, and hit the notification bell and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much guys. Bye.